Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I was going to cover how to use your MFJ 939 with your FT 710 So I bought the uh, 939Y model and what that means is it comes with the cable that goes from the tuner to the back of your Yaesu. Now that cable part number is MFJ-5114Y. However, as of currently with the FT710, that cable is pretty much useless. You can just use the power cable instead to power your tuner, which I am going to switch. Because the Yaesu FT710, the external tuner option, does not function and won't initiate the tune on the MFJ 939. Um, you can, still can, you still can use it. Um, like I said, I bought it knowing this, but I bought it because it's rated for higher power than the LDG tuner. Um, so what I will do is I'm going to end up just hooking the power, 12 volt power cable up and hooking it to my power supply, plugging it in there, and then I'm going to disconnect the cable that's going into here that way I can use the internal tuner in here for six meters if I need it. The one thing, this is 10 through 160 and um, so it, this won't do six meters. So I'm gonna, right now I do have it, um, the external tuner option enabled because I just wanted to try it. I didn't want to take MFJ's word for it and I confirmed for myself that it does not work. So I'm gonna switch it to where this is just hooked to the antenna and the transceiver through the coax and then the power separate. Um, now the built-in tuner to the FT10 will tune a 3 to 1. This will do a 32 to 1. And this thing is, is pretty quick. Now the way, there is a, a second way that I've read to use this, but I haven't even tried it because this way seems pretty easy. It's a bit of a pain, but the tuner uh, has a function what's called sticky mode, which allows you to just use one hand. So if you press and hold the tune button for two seconds, until you hear that beep, now it's in sticky mode. And what that is, is it's waiting for me to send a carrier to it for it to start tuning. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to mode and we're gonna put it in AM mode. And now if you see here, I've got it set at, uh, well that's bright, huh? I've got it set at 10 watts for AM. So I take the mic, key down, And there we go, we're all tuned. And if you see here, Whiskey 6 Oscar Bravo Bravo testing. I've got a nice flat SWR on 20 meters. So now it's, it's ready to go, it's tuned. Um, so you can still use it, you just gotta use what they call a sticky mode um, by putting it the tuner in the mode that's ready to receive a carrier. Hit the mic button. Tunes up pretty quick. Some of them it takes a few seconds. Uh, I've done it on, I've tested this on everything from 10 to 160. Uh, right now the antenna I have out back, it's an in-fed half-wave antenna. Here, I'll go back and show you. So it's a tin tannas. I've got it wrapped up in coax, but it just goes around the fence here and comes back this way to the umbrella. So I know it's a very inefficient uh, setup. Um, I'm in a condo with antenna restrictions. It's only about six feet off the ground. I think I've got the uh, Tintana's infed halfway cut to about 65, 66 feet. Um, but on this, it, it's, it tuned up everything from 10 to 160. Then the highest SWR I got after tuning was a two to one on 160. I had like a 1.2 to one on 80 used it a little bit last night and made some um, uh, 80 meter contacts on FT8. Uh, but if you like, I emailed MFJ and they, there is a link here you can go to if you want to read on, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's on AR15.com forums and that's where they talk about um, the issues with uh, trying to get this to work with the 710. Now I don't have the latest firmware on here. There is one new release, but
but in, reading the notes, it doesn't have anything, none of the updates have to do with the external tuner. Uh, when I get around to it, I will update it, but so far I haven't found anyone that's had success in getting the external tuner button to work. Now, in the manual, the MFJ manual does not list the 710 as a compatible radio. Neither does any website except for DX Engineering. <laughs> DX Engineering does have it listed, and that's why I emailed MFJ. I'm like, hey, uh, DX Engineering has this listed as a compatible rig with the 710, um, but your manual doesn't show it, your website doesn't show it, no one else shows it, and that's when he responded and said, well, uh, does it work? Yes and no. And that's when he told me to check out this forum and which I found the instructions on how to use a sticky mode. It's also in the user manual. It's just who wants to read a user manual? So there you go. Getting your Yesu 710 to work with your MFJ 939. So far it seems to be working pretty good. I like it other than the fact that it doesn't work with the external tuner. But that being said, I had planned on uh, not actually using it because I still want to be able to use my internal tuner for six meters. Um, so in the long run, it wasn't going to make a difference for me anyways, but thought I'd post this video on, on how to do that. So 7-3, hope this helps. Whiskey 6, Oscar, bravo, bravo.